Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom, Hi, Mom. from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another gardening video. So as you can see, we are back at Mom's house because apparently all we do these days is garden at Mom's house. And we worked at her house all last year, so I don't want to hear it. She decided after we made my front yard so beautiful that we needed to make her front yard beautiful. Yeah, my front yard's bad. Well, she worked on her backyard for a long time, but... She hasn't done anything to the front since she moved in. So we are reconstructing the whole garden. But today we are here with our box of blocks. So if you watch the drip irrigation video where we showed you how to lay out a whole drip pattern for your entire garden bed, we told you all about how we got this box, big of, blocks. box of blocks. It is pink blocks. From a lady on Facebook Marketplace. So they look like they're dead, but they are not. They are very pretty. I will put a picture up on the screen right now. Yes. Of what they looked like in her garden. But we've got, I mean, you've got a whole box here. I have a lot. A lot. And you paid $60 for the whole box. If we had bought this from a nursery, it would have been way more expensive. Oh, God. These are those little plants. It's like $3, $4, yep. $5. And if we eat. Eight. If you had grown it from seed or the little four packs, which was the original plan, it would take Forever. a year or two at the very earliest to get to this point. So we're very excited about our big box of what looks like crap, but is not crap. We're going to plant it at all the intersections of the paver pathway. You caught that video. We are just doing all these projects. Yep. But before we get started with the box of blocks, Mom wanted to tell you, so we went to the hardware store this morning because you can't not go to the hardware store for plants. Well, I and forgot to buy all the T intersections for this project. For the drip. So we so, had to go to the hardware store. To and while we were there, you might as well look for plants. Mom wanted a big oak leaf hydrangea because she's been working on the garden bed over here. Let's, I'll show you real quick. Okay, so over here you can see all of this was green. And so I thought it was all green bushes, but what was it, Mom? It was weeds and more weeds. And lots, lots of weeds. And big weeds. <laughs> and so she's still got plenty to do. Yep. We'll show you all the way back here. And this is the other side. All of this. We still need more bricks. That's where that hose is laid out. And, and show over there all the dead stuff that the lady cut in. But this is all going to be the new garden bed. And so this is the big hole. And over here, this is what they all cut down. The second. Yeah, the second wave of crap they cut down. So the you can see it goes like... In front of her entire property. In her entire, like, block. Yeah. <laughs> so right... Here, this is a big azalea. It had a big weed running through it. So, moms, you're going to let that grow together, right? I think that's what we're going to do, yeah. And, then and she has so, a tree that got really big. That'll be a big azalea. We've got two little trees here, a crepe myrtle and something else. Yeah, I don't know that. And then this hole right here, you're going to plant what? I'm going to plant this oak leaf hydrangea that I got yes. today. This one right here with the dogwoods and the butterfly bushes. Yeah, that's not on camera. Do it again. <laughs> so she has one on the other side. This is what she, we took a division of for my house. And these are so nice. I got it at the big box store. Yeah. And they get to be... Um, they get big. Six, six by six. Six by six. But I have one over there that's way bigger than Well, six because feet. the original plant gets six by six, but it sends off tons, tons of, shoot. of shoots and runners. And yeah. and that's what we transplanted over at my house. And mine's already oh, doing please. really well. So. And we go, we went to the big box store and we got these. forty six ninety eight. And we and got. Tell them what happened. Two end of, end of the summer hydrangeas, which I got one. One. One for mom, one for me. This one was, these are great because they bloom all, all summer. Summer long. And this one was $26.98. And it'll get three by five by three by five. So she thinks she's taking these holly bushes out. So she thinks she's going to get a second one of those on the other and side. put one on either side. And, 
And then what else did we get? Oh, and then we got six pink roses. Knockout roses. Knockout roses to go to Betsy's house. Because we decided that I she just have not, not like been thrilled with the color of my roses. And mom likes them. So mom's going to take the red ones. I'm going to take the pink ones. But tell them what happened. So I got up to the register. And I mean, the roses were all like $20 each. And uh, hydrangeas were 22 20 26, I think 26. it said. Yeah, 26. And the hydrangea, 27, and the hydrangea was 48. So 50, 30, 30. So we figured it was going to be a couple hundred dollars. Nope. The lady gave us 50%. It was $107 for everything. Yes. Mom was doing a happy dance. I was. I, I, I skipped all the way to the car. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> So, and yesterday we got these, okay, yesterday we got all these dogwood trees on sale. Yeah, so she's just hitting all the plant cells, and we think it's because, well, this was just, they were having a sale. 35, but, 25% off, and then another 10% off, and then they and gave then me another 34% 34% off. off, but we think that a lot of places are just having big Mother's Day sales. Yeah, they just love So them. go places with your mom, them. and you get sales. And especially... Because Betty is not nice to me everywhere Oh, yes. We I'm go. so mean to her, and they just hate it, so they give her discounts. Pick on, she picks on me. Like, and I never do that. It's very exciting, but enough chit chat. Let's get down to the actual project, which is not buying plants. No, I wish that was the main project. It's way more fun to buy the plants than to plant plants. I wish we could just buy things and design the garden, and then some kind oh. of cute cool boy would come along and plant them. Yeah, that would be nice. I do like planting things. I just like planting the first couple, not the whole box. So, what's the plan, Mom? Well, I think so, what like, we have to do is pull some out. I think what I'm going to do what size to make them is I'm going to cut them. Yeah. My scissors. Hell. She separated them quite a bit, but still, we're not putting a huge ground cover out like I said we're going to put them at the intersections so we need small enough chunks that we can plant in at each intersection right. and then they'll eventually grow together but right. it doesn't make any sense to try to separate them enough to plant the rows individually exactly. and plus once I get my new shed because you guys know I'm getting a shed um we'll have some extra we'll have some that can come over out of paver patio for my shed where I can put a cute little bistro table so I can't use the whole box of blocks I need done yeah. <coughs> because it could be another couple weeks before my shed gets here so so is this a small enough section well what I'm going to do is put a bigger section like right there on the side here sure and then I'll pick a smaller piece to put here. So are we just and gonna? I'm just gonna do the lay intersection. it out and yeah. then plant it all. No, I think we need to do piece by piece. <coughs> by, get a few so like going. this has no roots, so this is no good. Or is this no, a root? This is the root right here. Right there. Like some of it. Yeah, is broken. I think some of it's too broken. So like this is a root. This is root. Right. This is root. So this could go. In a small section. In a small area, like right here. Yeah. Okay. So, let me bring this over and show up. I think the best thing is cut it right there. There, cut it. You don't want to cut it too much, but. Here we go. So, this ground part right here, this is roots. This is starting to die because it's in a box. And this is good green growth. So we will probably plant it. You want to plant it up to, to here or to here? To about starting to turn brown. And then once we plant it, what do you say? We have to top it like to here? Because your roots are trying to keep all of this green growth alive. And that's too stressful. We need it to focus on putting out more roots, getting established, and then it can grow green prettiness next next after the roots in the spring this does bloom but not 
not all the time. It only blooms in the spring. I am sure it was beautiful in her yard. It was. The and pictures the pictures are very pretty. Um, and it will not bloom again for us until hopefully next year. You know, it blooms sporadically over the summer, but not very well. Yeah. So, where do you want to put this? Well, let's just put that. It's very prickly. Oh my god. This is a itty bitty piece. And I'm just gonna kind of just buy things and we'll start putting them out. Yeah, so once we get a couple out, we'll start planting them. And to plant them, all we're gonna do is dig a hole. We'll put a little starter fertilizer. We need to get that in the bottom of the hole. Cover the roots up, make sure they're snug, and then we'll water everything in. And then, I don't know if we'll do it today, but we will just pop some drip lines in and bring them over so that all of this will be watered. That may, that may be an off-camera project since we've already shown you how to do that. I will leave a link below. I'll try to put one up on the screen right here. Um, for when mom came over and helped me run drip to all my pots and containers over at my house. That's a much more comprehensive video. And then I will leave another link down below to how we laid out the big half inch drip tubes in her garden. But between those two videos, you get the idea. Alright. What are you getting, mama? Fertilizer. All right, so we've got our um, starter fertilizer. That's a slow release fertilizer. So even if she doesn't water these annually, it will give them some good fertilizer all season long. And we're just gonna pop a hole through that cardboard because if you remember, mom did no dig flower beds here. So the cardboard is down to suppress the weeds. And when you wanna plant through it, you just, you just cut it and it will slowly disintegrate Already it's already there. pretty disintegrated. It's not disintegrated, but it's, I mean, it's falling apart. There we go. Gloves it up. Yeah, it's very prickly. I would not walk on it barefoot. for it to grow over the stems. Just saying. And I don't think it's as bad in some parts. Yeah, once it's not so dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's probably some dirt there. Do you have the auger? Yeah. You can probably use the auger on that part. Yeah. Mom's gonna use her fancy drill and auger that someone gave her for Christmas. Yeah, pretty fancy. Some really cool person that gave her that. She gave me the auger last year. I gave you the auger just because I thought you'd like it, but the, the drill was for Christmas. Put it out to do it this or kind of do like that. How big of a hole do you want? Think about that hole. So I drill in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something right there that's big. That's why. Okay. See, it's already quite easy to do. It's going to just get worse and worse. Yeah, that's the goal. Okay. Okay. 
So there's roots all throughout here from that giant magnolia tree. So this is going to be quite the project. But A, you want to get that dirt out for the roots. But B, as much as you can fluff up the soil so that they have an easier time growing, the better. I got to start buying a big box of that because I'm already easy. out of the little one. All right, so when you put the roots in, you want to make sure they are kind of as flat as you kind of can. You don't want them super twirled up. And then you just push it in. You know what we need? A bag. Or you want to do the hair cutting all of it now? Up to you. Do you want to hair cut it now? No. Well, we can show them now. Yeah. We'll show them with this one. So mom just kind of grabs it like a ponytail and it lops it off. That's why she calls it a haircut. Yep, that's what I was told. Okay. All right, and then cover it back over with the dirt. So that it's all done. And we will come back over with the compost and top dress all of this. And that'll help give these guys a... More of a fighting chance. A little bit more nutrients as well. Yeah. So. Throw these out as I'm working. Yep. I We've to... got a whole, whole lot of this to do. So we're going to put y'all on fast time, fast forward. Yep. Get going. We are not all the way done, but we got probably two thirds almost. Two thirds of it done. We got back to here done. So I was doing the middle with the little sticky spit, and mom was doing the sides with the auger. But we got pretty far. But I don't know if you can hear the thunder and the lightning. It is getting ready to storm, and it is almost seven at night. So we are. We're done. We're tired. We're done. Mom is probably going to come out and finish the rest of it over the next couple days on our lunch breaks. So when she's finished, I will pop back over here and we will show you what it looks like. But it's all watered in. It looks good. And over time, it will just start. And we're happy. I'm happy with it. I think so. Yeah. And then Betsy will take the rest over to her house. We still We've have still a got quite a bit left. Probably half left. Yeah, I would say. So hopefully I'll have more than enough for whatever you want to do. Whatever paper patio I end up putting in or maybe some in the garden. We'll see. But yep. for today, that's a wrap. Peace out. Peace out. All right. Goodbye. Oh, boy. I'm going to water a little bit. A little bit more water? Yeah, I think so. Let it kind of soak in. Yeah. All right, y'all. So it has been a couple days. Mom got the flocks planted all the way back through the stepping stones, uh, the paper path. So it is done. It is, well, I'll give you a close up. It has been raining like crazy here. So on top of mom watering it in, it has been watered. And you can see like there is definitely still uh, green. On quite a few of them Ooh, there we go but quite a few more of them just look like hell 
We're not 100% sure why that is, and this is not the end of the video update I kind of want to give y'all, but the project is done. We are going to keep working on it. We're going to let it go for a whole season. Um, from what we've researched, sometimes Phlox just struggles a bit when you transplant it, so it may be a minute, but hopefully it will come back. The parts that are green will start growing, and in a couple months even, this will be a totally different situation. So we will keep you updated as we plant everything else in the garden, but it is finished. And if for some reason it just dies, then we'll be back to do it again with something different. See you later.